What's up, so there's your boy Chris here, Vibes and Up in the Kitchen. This recipe reminds me of my grandmother. She would do something very similar, but this version is a vegetarian version. The version she would do, a little bit more simple, um, but it would have uh, salted meats or salted pigtails or salted beef in it. So as I said, we're doing this vegetarian. And what it is, we're using dried pigeon peas to make up rice and peas. You're going to like this one, man. Vibes it up. I've got a nice heavy pot here. This is my clay pot, um, glazed clay pot. <clears throat> but any heavy pot would work on a medium heat. I'm just gonna go in with about a tablespoon of olive oil. If you wanna use coconut oil, that is cool as well. No worries, nobody ain't heating. And then we're gonna go in with half of a medium onion diced. And as soon as you start hearing that little sizzle, I want you to turn down the heat all the way down to low. I've got here about four sprigs of thyme. We're gonna go in with some black pepper. I wish I had my pepper mill, I don't have it anymore. But see what, we're using what we have. I have here two scallions that I chopped up. Just gonna break that up a bit. And all we want to do here is sweat that down for about, I don't know, three, four minutes until everything softens up and you get that nice flavor happening at the bottom. I've got here one Oh, piece of onion trying to fall back there. All right, one scotch pot and pepper. We're not going to use the entire thing. Just going to cut a piece of it. Now, if you want, you can float the scotch pot and pepper in there so you don't get that raw heat. I'm looking for that gentle kick, so I'm going to go in with that. Notice all my seeds and everything, they're still there. If you want real fire, that's what you're going to have to play with, you know what I mean? But don't use it if, you, if you're timid about the whole heat situation. Remember to wash your hands with soap and water after. And um, yeah, simmer this down for a couple of minutes. As it starts to sweat down and you hear that sizzle going, I'm gonna go in with a little touch of allspice. That's just ground allspice. That's gonna add a lovely flavor to it. And let's talk a little bit about the dry pigeon peas. This is a dry pigeon peas here. Um, this is what we do. We usually pick it during the season dry it. Um, well, it usually dries on the tree and then you save it so all um, out of season you have dry pigeon peas to use. And what you want to do, I have one cup here soaked in water for a couple hours. If you want to soak it overnight it will definitely make the cooking process a lot shorter. But that's what I did. Two cups, I mean one cup in warm water uh, for a couple hours. The kitchen should have a lovely aroma from all the herbs that we got here as well as that all spice or pimento um, will really make it nice and wicked smelling in here. So in goes and we're going to turn up the heat all the way up now because we want to bring this up to a boil. The water and everything that I soaked it in goes in there and this is going to take a long time to soften up. So if you want to use a pressure cooker by all means do so. I don't have one and I to be honest with you, I'm here fearful of um, pressure cookers. One can of coconut milk, and that is 400 milliliters. And I'm also going to add half a cup of water to this. Salt. All the ingredients I used here will be listed down in the description below, and the recipe will be posted on CaribbeanPot.com. Bring that up to a boil for now. Come up to a boil now so what we're going to do is turn the heat all the way down to a simmer and put the lid on there and let that go between an hour and an hour and a half it's been simmering away for about an hour and 15 minutes if you check one of these it should be nice and soft now if they're not soft yet continue cooking it for a bit longer um, at this point i like to take out the um the sprigs from the thyme and if you opted for the float method, so if you floated a whole scotch bonnet or habanero pepper in here, this is where I would recommend you fish it out as well. We've got enough flavor out of that at this point. Here's where we're gonna go in with the washed rice, and I have three cups of parboiled brown rice here. If you want to learn how to wash the rice or why we wash rice, I will have a link for that down in the description below. I'm going to add about a cup more water in here and I'm going to bring this up to a boil. It's come up to a rolling boil now so I'm going to turn my heat all the way down because I want to get a simmer going. I'm going to give that a quick stir just to move everything around. 
I remember we already started off with salt so that should be enough salt for this dish a um, couple ingredients I forgot to mention at the start that my grandmother would use is a couple cloves of garlic at the very start as well as a thin piece of ginger heat all the way down lid on and let that go until all the water is gone as well as it's fully cooked after about 25 minutes just about all our water will be gone it would have absorbed the rice greens have been nice and plump turn off the stove put the lid back on here and don't touch it don't do anything for a good 10 15 minutes or so after it's cooled down for about 15 minutes you'll notice it'll get nice and plump and this is where you're gonna go in with a fork and you're gonna sort of fluff it like so Chris here CaribbeanPod.com pigeon peas with rice normally as I said my grandmother would make this with salted pigtail or salted beef or smoked ham hocks or something. Vegetarian version, you're gonna like it, man. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, click like, subscribe, leave comments below, man. Vibes it up.